First time home buyer advice. Okay, so when you're buying a house for a first time, often you have no idea the cost of actually owning a house long term. You've got the stuff that we all know about. You're gonna be paying for your electricity, your gas, your water, trash, uh, sewage in some areas as well, most areas. You know, there's a lot that you're gonna have to pay, okay, a lot. But beyond that, what you need to be aware of is big costs, that's right. Not the monthly reoccurring cost for using the home, which is your payment and then Wi-Fi and all of that fun stuff. I'm talking about the big dogs when it comes to spending your money and you want to be prepared for this. So whenever I'm looking at a house now, because I have learned this the hard way, guys, oh, the hard way, um, the things that I look for are roof, windows, oh, windows can be so expensive. Roof, windows, piping. Like if I walked into a, a house, guys, and someone said, oh, the piping, you know, should be, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. And look, that's what you guys need to think about. Unless you're a contractor or you wanna renovate a house, if someone says all the plumbing pipes need to be, you know, repaired or replaced, just run. Do not, do not pass go, just run. Here's why. Piping, you have to rip up the floor, you have to rip up the walls, you have to rip up everything, it's a gut. I'm sorry, it's a gut, it really is. And sometimes you can do it where it's not a total gut, but there's a lot of times where they've gotta get into the flooring and guess what, it's a gut. So I'd watch out for that. Electrical, okay, if you're looking at older homes, knob and tube is something that generally has to be replaced because it's not safe. Rep replacing the electrical system an entire house Woo! Okay, these are things for rich people that wanna play renovation or for contractors that want a project. This is not something the average American or anyone that enjoys their life wants to take on. And you may be going, ah, oh, Jen, you're so dramatic. I am not dramatic. <laughs> I am not dramatic, especially on this. No, it's serious and it's like, look, a real estate agent, like the good ones are gonna be like, no, 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 this is serious, like run. But there's a lot that don't have a clue. So they're like, oh, let's just get a quote from an electrician. And the electrician's like, oh, it'll be 5,000. Yeah, except they're not taking into consideration this, 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 then it's $25,000. Do you guys have that money? And if you have that money, is this what you wanna spend it on? I'm asking, I'm asking for you, my friend. <laughs> so really be cognizant of this. Now look, would I buy a house that had older windows? You know, it's interesting. I have bought a house, okay, so this is a fun story. So California um, took me three years to find this house. I got a good deal on it. And it started off, I knew the windows, they were kind of weird. They're kind of gothic-y, like definitely like a 90s vibe that never should have happened. But the house was in a great location. It had a lot of square footage. And I was like, the windows are fine. I'll just replace the windows. So I go and I get a quote to replace the windows. Here's the thing about windows, guys. They touch everything. It's not like you just pop in and out a window, especially if they're an unusual shape. So then it comes down to, okay, well, we're gonna have to replace the windows, but that actually touches the kitchen tile. So you're gonna have to do something with the kitchen tile. That window actually touches the bathroom you know, tile. This window touches this, this window touches this. It's a whole thing, right? And then you're like, okay, so what if it doesn't touch anything and I just wanna replace my windows? Cool, they don't just pop it in and out. Like, unless you're replacing the same shape, which is super unusual. So it's a whole thing of like, they have to do the flashing around it. It can affect the appearance of your house on the outside. There's stuff that has to happen there. There's stuff that has to happen on the inside. It is a thing that can easily be way beyond windows by the time that you're done, okay? so. Would I buy a house that needs new windows? Mm. Not unless they were a shape that I know was still around and could be replaced. And if I had probably $100,000 to spend on windows, seriously, seriously, seriously. I'm not kidding, okay? <clears throat> Roofs, okay. So people are like, oh, I'll just get a new roof. <laughs> They have to take off the roof to put on the new roof. How much fun is that gonna be for you? Is that something you want to go through? Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe you're like, it's an investment property, I don't care, whatever. Okay, but you need to think about, is this something I can mentally handle? I work from home, I could not mentally handle this. Maybe you don't work from home and you mentally could, 
right? How much is it gonna cost? A lot of times people will go on Google and see what the average cost of a roof is. Don't do that. You need to get real bids. And I would say if you're looking at a house where everyone knows that roof's gonna have to be replaced, get bids on how much it's gonna be before you close on that house. Because I have to tell you, any bid, it's gonna be more. They're never less, never. They're rarely the same amount. So get some bids and expect it to be more. Can you afford that? Because a lot of times I'll have people, you know, we'll have like a veteran perhaps who doesn't have a lot of money in their bank account and they're like, well, this is what I can afford. And it's like, well, if what you can afford is something that's going to ultimately bankrupt you, right, then it's not a good choice. It's not a good choice. And that's what you guys need to be thinking about is when you're looking at this property, you're going to become the owner of it. So what are the liabilities and what are you going to have to do to maintain that property? Yep. Yep. Okay. So we covered electrical, plumbing, um, foundation. I wouldn't touch that with a million foot pole. If someone told me a house had a bad foundation, but it was a great deal, I would walk away. I would run. I would slow jog. I would get the hell out of there as quickly as can be. There's a lot of people that go, oh, you can fix the foundation really easily. Ah, can you? I mean, look, if they go in and they find out it's a bigger project than they thought it was, can you afford the additional expense? I can't. I can't. I don't know many people that can. I don't know many people that would want to. It's like, you know, if you think you're saving 30K because it has a bad foundation, you're going to have to spend more than that to get a decent foundation. And you may never be able to have a good foundation. So I would be very afraid of anything with a bad foundation as well. I would be afraid of houses slipping down hills. That's not a good sign either, you know, and you've got to be really careful because what can happen as a first time home buyer is sometimes you get in the mindset of, well, this is all I can afford. Guys, if all you can afford is potential money pits, unless you're sitting on a stack of cash, then you need to wait. You need to save more money. You need to get in a better financial position so that you can buy a house that won't bankrupt you. You know, I did a short on it uh, recently. Fun movie to watch. The Money Pit with Tom Hanks. That's right. Check it out. You know, it's a comedy, but I have to tell you, as someone who sees this every day, it's like a reality TV show. Like all the stuff, the jokes they make about the contractors, everything else, I've seen it in real life. Like it is, it is not just a comedy. This is what happens, you know? The seller who suddenly is selling the house at a great discount because they have to move for some mysterious reason. Yeah, what are you really buying? So look, I don't wanna go on forever. We all know I do, but I've been told I shouldn't do 20 minute videos because they're too soothing for you. <laughs> Anyways, um, look, pay attention when you're looking at houses. Look at what's gonna cost you money and ask yourself, do I have the money to fix this? And if you don't, get out of that house. <laughs> Walk away, jog slowly, go to another house, keep looking, keep stacking cash, but do not go into a money pit without recognizing what it is and making sure that you can afford it. And that's the thing about a money pit, no one can afford it. So as always, thank you for watching. I am licensed in 48 states. Oh, I better say this. If you guys are looking at a money pit and you're like, Jen, what about renovation loans though? Just reach out, I'll hook you up with Christine and Indu. They specialize in renovation. They can tell you if that's realistic. But once again, if you're max qualified at 200,000 and the money pit costs 200,000, once you put in repairs, it's gonna be what, 250, 300? And then you're not gonna qualify again. So be very aware, guys. Have a good day.